Hello everybody. Okay, I did my nails. Aren't they lovely? So I thought I'd show you what I did. I used Glitterbell's glass slippers from Nails by Annabelle. Also, as she stocks glam and glitz, I ordered Cruel Intention, which you've seen me use actually recently. And from Neo Nails, I've got Caribbean Sunsplash, Sunsplash, which is the most beautiful yellow. So nice. From Glitter Planet UK, I have Rockstar and Mike stunning glitters and these pre pinched stiletto tips. And I've got my Glitter Fairy round size 10 brush. Now, if you would like to purchase anything from Glitter Planet UK, I will leave the link in the description box below along with my 10% discount code. Save some pennies! Right. I've pushed back my cuticles, I've etched the nail plate, I've primed, I've dehydrated and all that jazz, except the other way around, dehydrated and then primed. And then I'm going in with a thin clear base because, for two reasons actually, one, these colours are highly, highly pigmented and would absolutely stain the nail, absolutely. And also, you know, when you want to file back and redesign, it's really handy to have that nice thin clear base there. So I'm just going in, you don't need to pull it really past where the nail joins the tip, you're just blending those two together. I love these pre-pinched stiletto tips, if you have not tried them, you must try them, they are phenomenal. And I don't find them particularly difficult to fit or anything like that, as once you get a gist of what your size is, I've got tiny nails, so, um, I, I quite often have to use the smallest one on my pinky, so a lot of people go a size up, which is great. They're fantastic, and they make a really good tapered square as well. Blush. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to start with the pinky finger, and that is an ombre. I just love these colours. It reminds me of um, a sunset, or like fiery phoenixy. My hair has got like reds, coppers and hints of purple in it now so it kind of matches except my nails are neon and I just love it. So I use Cruel Intentions incredibly wet. It does marble, uh, the pigment can be patchy but it, it also brushes out beautifully as you can see. Just work thinner and wetter and build up the intensity of the colour. Uh, if you stick one big bead down, you will probably find it a little bit difficult to work with. But do not give up on it, it's a stunning, stunning colour. And once you get the gist of it, it's really simple to work with and it ombres beautifully. So as you can see, I flooded it there because I went a bit wet and a bit too close to the cuticle. Just clean up and move on. No biggie. No biggie. Or stick your really great big nail in there like I just did. <clears throat> And then I'm going to go in with another bead and just drag that further down the nail. So I'm very hyperactive, as you can tell, because I'm off to London tomorrow. Um, I can't tell you what for, I'm afraid, but it is to do with um, my singing and stuff like that. So um, I wanted some groovy nails. Super cool. And before you try and guess, no, it's not the voice or what's the other one? X Factor or BGT. Nope. Uh, right, so Caribbean Sun splash down, and I'm blending back up while it's all nice and wet. And you just look, they melt together. Those colours are meant to be. They're like salt and pepper, they're just meant to be together. It's a match made in heaven. So I first came up with this when I was playing um, on Felicia the Flexi Hand the other day and I posted it on uh, Lorna's page, Glitter Planet UK, and she was like, oh my god, I love them! And I was like, yeah, me too actually, thinking about it. I really want these. I was going to have um, just a basic baby boomer and I laid it all the stuff out and I looked at my husband and said, I can't do it. I need colour. I'm feeling bright. So that's what we went with. So I'm just adding that last bead. So as you can see, it really intensifies the, the yellow at the tip of the nail and then blends back. And it just naturally melts into that orange and then into that fiery kind of neon orangey red. Stunning. Love it. 
Then I'm going to go in with Mike with a small clear bead. And I think the thing here is to kind of twist it around because you've got incredibly pinched tips. So you really want to bring it around as if you were doing like a unicorn horn effect. You, you curve it around the curvature of the nail and it fits, it hugs the shape of the nail and really looks beautiful. And then I just pick up with my wet brush, Rockstar, which is stunning. And I just tap it into the already wet layer. Now, I'd never thought of matching these colours before, but I love yellow and purple. And I was like, I'm sure it's all going to go. And it, I just, I love it. I love the contrast. On this nail, we're going to do kind of like a smoky marble effect, which is similar to what I did on the three nails I did recently. Just with different glitters and as part of a different set, I guess. So Caribbean Sun Splash goes down first. Now what I have noticed about this is it's incredibly, incredibly pigmented, a little bit sticky to work with, and it dries super fast, even though I'm using the same monomer, which is Glitter Bell's monomer. So just work a bit quicker with it, because it does set up pretty quick. So I'm always pulling that past my natural nail and down a little bit and then just feathering it off. Then I'll go in with clear and a tiny, tiny dab of the yellow and just marble them and drag them down as if it's a little trail kind of going off into the distance, you know? So it kind of leaves a glass tip, but not a huge amount and not perfectly clear. I just love that effect. I mean, there's really no hard and fast rule with this. You just do what you want. Do what you want. Just keep it wet. And then just gently tap it into place. And I'm checking from all angles, looking back at it to see, is it where I want it? Is it how I like it? Do I need to add any more product or do I need to remove product? And then once I'm happy with it, I'll go in with, a small wet bead of the glass slippers dipped into Mike, which is the super fine holographic. And I'm telling you, that is a stunning glitter. I burnished it. I was playing around with um, a gelish color. I can't remember what it was. It's almost like a, a Tiffany blue. No, it's not. It's like a teal. I know what it is. It's garden, garden teal party or something from gelish. And I burnished in this glitter um, and oh my word it was absolutely stunning if you want to see a demo demonstration of that then by all means just let me know because I don't often do much with gel polish but if you'd like to see stuff with gel polish as well then let me know once that's wet I'm just going to push in the rockstar glitter so I just literally dab my wet brush into the glitter and then pat it onto the nail and drag it down so it, it's not uniformed it's trickling down, which is like the smoky effect of the, of the colour as well. I know it looks a bit strange now. Once it's capped with clear, all will be revealed. Now, on this finger, we're doing an ombre, but the other way around. So, cruel intention goes at the free edge and is blended back up. Super, super bright this is. Making sure, again, I turn it round, I check it from different angles. You don't want to bulk out. The good thing about Glam & Glitz colours and the CJP design powders, and I mean, Nao's are super pigmented as well. If you're working with a super pigmented powder, you don't need to bulk out the nail. Trilogy's really good as well. I like all the brands. Um, but you, can you see here where there's a clear patch? That's the kind of problem you get with Cruel Intention. It just sometimes marbles clear. So you know some of the pinks end up with white through them. This one just does it with clear, but it's fine. You can add to it, it's super buildable, and because you can work so thin, you're not gonna end up with a bulky nail at all. And that's what I like. You can keep it really thin, really streamlined. You're not gonna cause yourself loads and loads of filing. It was a bit of a pain. I went back over it again, because it just by pure chance, it marbled in the same place. But don't give up with it. I know somebody said, that they'd had trouble with it and they were like ah 
Just keep practicing. Because I was the same as well. So you see me going in with tiny amounts and just painting it on and then brushing it back up just to get that fade in there. It's so pigmented, it's crazy. And then in with the Caribbean Sun Splash and a blob of glitter for free, which doesn't really matter, but I think I tried to get it out. There you go. It just, they go so well, don't they? This is, a, the Caribbean Sun Splash is a beautifully textured um, powder. I don't mean it is textured, I mean it feels beautiful to work with, really creamy. It just dries a little bit faster, so I have to work a bit quicker with it. Whereas Glam and Glitch, you work super, super wet, it, it's a slower setting. Just pushing that one up towards a cuticle, nice and gently. I'm tucking my brush in around the edges, making sure it's all neat and tidy and as I want it. But when I'm happy with the blend, I'll then go in and do that glitter trail again. Going in with Mike first. And you don't need a lot, I put way too much on my brush at times. And then in with Rockstar and pushing that into it. So just the two together are perfect. There we go, just a small wet bead again with that and just pressing that in. Really easy, really effective. And I mean, this design is was, I went to the salon today and three people asked me when I could do their nails and my salon's not open yet, which was like, kind of like, whoa! But big, bright, beautiful work on your nails you, you've got to advertise what you do haven't you you are the billboard for your business oh my god i made a big boo-boo here i wiped my brush on my paper towel without looking and blobbed it in the glitter that i just wiped off my brush but it wasn't a big problem because i'm going to run glitter through this nail anyway i just annoyed myself i was like oh sarah really oh yeah you guys don't know me as Sarah, you know me as Queen Bee Nail Art. I'm Sarah, hi. You'll probably see me posting on the Facebook pages as Sarah Burchett because um, I always forget to use my business page because I'm stupid. Haha. -ha. Okay, so brushing that back, pulling it down, feathering it out so that it fades down nicely and then we're going to go in with the clear and do that smoky effect. super easy to do. I was getting the right pickle with glitter today, just everywhere. Oh yeah, how many of you have got the new brush from Glitter Planet UK with the glitter in the handle? If you have, let me know if you like it because I, I really want one. So I'm really thinking of getting one. If you haven't got one and you're going to get one, then you can use my 10% off code. I don't make anything from it, it's just nice to help you out. So I'm pushing my kid again, same as I did with all the other nails. I'm just pulling it down really gently into a sort of little fake, no real, you know, method to it, just feathering it down and then just pushing the rock star into it nice and gently. You can brush it away if you get too much. I didn't want it to gather in certain areas because then it looks less random and more like it's meant to be there and I just wanted it to kind of look like it had trailed off on its own and done its own thing. Which is it's hard to make something look random on purpose. I find it really tricky. So I'm just working that glitter where I want it. When I'm happy with it. I'll change to my phone. Now this did break off quickly because the phone rang um, and I'm filming on my phone. So this is a complete glitter now. I've already got my clear base, obviously. I'm going in with a very wet bead and mic. Such a beautiful glitter. There you go, I'm back. 
and this is going to be our base for the nail. If I'd have had a purple acrylic, I would have put a purple acrylic down first because that would have given a real solid background. But luckily, these two glitters are so intense that they really filled it up. And then once the nail's wet, you can just pat the glitter on with your wet brush. You don't need to keep adding more and more acrylic. Then I'll just pick up a wet bead and go into Rockstar, which is obviously the multi-cut. So that's going to fill in the gaps and I'll keep adding more. If the nail's wet, I just press the glitter into it. If the nail starts to dry out, I add a very wet bead. That's it. Um, and then just keep adding until I'm happy with the coverage, really. It's very, very simple, but super effective. And it's one of my favourite nails on the, on the set because it's just so sparkly. Just don't stare at it like you're dry when you're driving, like I did today, because I was mesmerised by it. <laughs> so there we are, I'm now going to cap the nails. I've kept the first two in real time, and then I've sped up the rest of it, because this is a long video. So as you can see, I always dampen the nail down first. And then you'll actually notice, um, and I'm, I'm happy to point this out, that on the side closest to you right now, that side I didn't wet it down and it was very dry and my bead was drying because it was really hot and I actually got a little bit of um, kind of like a crystallizing effect I know that people use a word for it and my brain has gone blank um, no nope, can't remember anyway you know like people when people have bathroom windows that are hazy it's like that uh, if I'd have remembered to wet that area, I just didn't check down the side, then that would not have happened. Frosted, that's the word. That I couldn't move past not knowing what that word was. A frosted effect. Anyway, I'll just keep adding, keep that nail nice and wet because things are setting super fast. It's very, very, very warm. A lot of people are keeping their monomer in the fridge. I don't blame you. I wish I had. So I ended up working super, super wet. Which isn't a bad thing, I suppose, because you, when you've got glitter to, to cap. I'm just checking it from different angles. Sorry if it starts to go out of shot. I did really try and be mindful of keeping my nails in shot at all times. Okay, on to the next nail. I zoomed in a little bit on this, but you lose the clarity, unfortunately. I film on my phone, so sometimes you lose a bit of the clarity. I've gone in nice and wet there. I've wetted the nail first. I've used a wet bead. I want it to soak in all around that glitter. And things are setting pretty fast, so it's not a big problem. And then I'm just brushing it down the nail, and then we'll start to build the structure. Because obviously... There's not really any product on the very tip of the nail at the moment, so I need to build that out with the clear, and I need to work wet to give it that nice glass effect. If you work too dry, you will get air bubbles. You need to really, really burp your brush in the monomer and work nice and wet, and just try not to fiddle too much if you don't need to. So I'm going in really wet and it, it is sloppy but it doesn't matter it's gonna give a nice clear tip and that's all I care about I did file off camera I should let you know because it's at the moment with the tripod that I've got I can't really file um, and film it's just completely cat-handed I'm just adding an extra bit there at the apex area, I just wasn't quite happy with the shape. A lot of the refining will be done at filing, but I was seriously rushing this set as well. I mean, I had the nails done in about an hour, which for me is like really, really quick. Well then, I, it, did, it probably took me an hour and a half in all in all, with all the faffing around, but 
you know what it's like doing your own nails, it takes forever normally. I had to really, really rush. So I've sped up these last couple of nails that are capped. I didn't want to completely delete it, but I figured you kind of know what I was doing. This is the same as the yellow one, so the tip has basically no product on it, so it needs to be built up, blended forward, and then blended back up. Again, working nice and wet so we get that crystal clear tip. Okay, onto the thumb again, wet down that glitter first. Now I'm working really wet on this one because I've got tons of glitter and I want it all capped, all in between. I don't want any dust in there. I don't want any fading. I want it all nice and clear because glass slippers is super, super clear and really, really beautiful. To be honest there's so many good acrylics on the market um, so many it's just finding one that you you prefer working with there's no right or wrong so here is the finished set after filing and top coating I did pretty I love them I hope you guys have enjoyed this and if there's anything you want to see then let me know in the description box uh, not the description box, the comment section. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye!